Hello everybody and welcome to some more BD Armoury. Uh, now, anybody who's been watching my channel for any length of time will know that this is my panther, my kind of delta wing, flying wingish kind of craft. And anybody who's been watching my channel for any length of time will also know that the design is severely outdated. Uh, in the recent series, uh, find a subscriber, the teams, this thing was getting its backside handed to it on a silver platter on a regular basis. Yeah, this thing is in serious need of replacing. Uh, I'll just chuck in some combat footage here just to uh, just to show you what I mean. But before we get to that point, some people in the craft showcase section of my Discord decided they wanted to go at uh, redesigning, remastering the Panther. So I said, yeah, sure, and I'll stick together a video about it. So yeah, we're going to do ourselves a little bit of a tournament. Now, I received uh, nine craft, and I'm holding one of them back uh, for, uh, for something in a later video. So eight craft to get through, I think that's too many to stick into a single video. So I've decided I'm just going to do some quick quarterfinals, which I'm going to summarise, and then we'll leap into the tournament proper. So the first quarterfinal was Big Boy's SMFM 6G Leopard against the Panther Custom by Luna. Now, as these craft were getting into position, the, uh, the Panther Custom did show a little bit of instability. And that was kind of a sign of things to come. Luna's craft put up a good fight. They did manage to down one of the leopards, but ultimately did succumb to Big Boy's trio. Our second semi-final saw Dion Knows MRJ-22 Fanter up against the Panther 3 by Soup. Uh, the, the sound bug keeps striking throughout these quarterfinals, by the way, just to warn you. Um, yeah, this was a little bit more one-sided. Uh, the Panther 3 didn't last too long before being expertly picked apart by the Fanta in a clean sweep. Next up, we had the Panther Z2, or Z2 if you prefer an American perspective on things, uh, by Space Doge, and that went up against Ben Aaron's Panther 2 Mark 8. Now, Space Doge's craft did put up a hell of a fight, but in the end, the Mark 8s were just too strong for them. Although, uh, two of Ben Aaron's craft did collide whilst trying to finish off one of the uh, Z2s, which led to the demise of one of them, but apart from that, yes, the Mark 8s did win comfortably. Finally, we had the Fanta by Vulcan, so named because its engine nacelles resembled a bottle of a popular brand of soft drink, although doesn't include the custom logo he made for it, which I'm quite relieved about because of potential copyright issues. And that went up against the FASA Panther Advanced by Acteon. On the way up, the Panther Advanced did show uh, a few wobbles, and once again, that was a sign of things to come as, yeah, they were just picked apart by the Fantas. Uh, Vulcan's craft teaming up to give the last surviving Panther Advance a brutal send-off. All those quarterfinal pairings were completely at random, by the way, uh, but with those done, it's time to slow things down a little bit and take a closer look at both the, uh, both the craft and the fights as we move on to our semi-finals. So once again, paired up completely at random, we start with the SMFM 6G Leopard by Big Boy and this. This is a good looking craft. This is sort of kind of what I'd envisaged um, uh, any replacement to the Panther might look like. Uh, reasonably conventional missile loadout, maybe a little light on those and the twin Vulcan cannons, but yeah, I do like that one. And this will be going up against Vulcan's Fanta. I mean, what more can you say? I mean, it's a hell of... It, this craft doesn't deserve to be as good as it is. That's all I'll say. Also, a uh, fun little thing. There's um, there's a pair of... Uh, there's a pair of Gawaits... Is it Gawaits hidden in these? Uh, or is it just... No, it's just Vulcans. Vulcans hidden in the, the like, bottle caps of these little... Um, <laughs> these bottles. Oh, dear. Anyway, yes, let's... Uh, Let's get this one going. I've got battle damage on. I won't turn heartbleed mode on for this, though. So the first semi-final gets underway, and wow, the leopard gets around quickly. Josh Kerman, in the uh, the lead leopard, um, gets away two. Oh, gets away a whole bunch of craft. Four missiles per target, which on a, as I said, a reasonably light missile loadout is uh, an interesting strategy, although. One that can work. Oh, and they've got the Fantas on the back foot. The back, the Fantas have not managed to get their own missile volley away. Is that something now? Now, yes, the Fantas have gotten uh, a few missiles away. Josh Kerman is having to break sharply to avoid that one. Looks close, 
that one looks very close. I think the Fantas are coming around and getting back into it. Launching some more missiles. Gunfire coming in for Josh Kerman. Gets a smattering. There's there's some yeah there's some fights going on here. I think the Fanta yeah the Fanta seem to be slightly more manoeuvrable. Josh Kerman having a lot of difficulty. How are the other leopards getting on? Um, the whole thing's paused. It's not very happy. Ghosty Kerman. Ghosty Kerman's craft in a lot of difficulty. I think he may have lost the thrust in his engines. That's going to make him a bit of a sitting duck. The gunfire comes in. Starts stripping, stripping him of parts. Oh dear. But maybe a little too slow. And now I think, yeah, is out of fuel. It's not looking good for the Leopards. Ion Kerman suffering a little bit of damage as well. The other... Panther. Mmm. Josh Kerman out of fuel. Yeah. Hits to the fuel tanks are obviously, um... Obviously draining the fuel out of these Leopards. Did he manage to find a bit more? Is that... Or it might just be the engines being temporarily taken out. I'm not entirely sure. Presenting maybe a slightly too slow target to the Fanta, however, but I think the Leopards are not long for this one. Ion Kermans! Ion Kerman Leopards seems, still seems to be in relatively good nick. Takes another smattering. I tell you what, they're hanging on in there. They're taking a beating, but they are hanging on in there. Get some guns away. Is that? I can't see. Are you now out of fuel? Yeah, one of the Leopards finally succumbs. Yeah, out of fuel. Oh dear. I think that was one of those fights that was won on a, a fine margin in the end. Just the uh, the Fantas managing to get those few more hits, get a little bit more damage into them, and uh, with battle damage on that just sort of won them the war of attrition. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on to our other semi-final. This next fight will, of course, involve the MRJ-22 Fanter by Dion Lowe. One of the more faithful recreations of the Panther that I've seen. Um, yeah, uh, has a six of each kind of missile. It does have this little targeting pod. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe a bit of flavour. Why not? And yeah, the twin Vulcan cannons. And we move on to the last craft in our semi-finals. Um, it's not a particularly faithful recreation. <laughs> It's the Panther II Mark VIII by Ben Aaron going for uh, a trio of Vulcan cannons and uh, quite light on the missile loadout. Just the Amram's no sidewinders, which is an interesting choice. Um, seemed to work for it in the, the quarterfinal, but uh, yeah, let's get them uh, into the air. And so the fight starts once again. Yeah, Steak Carmen. In the uh, the Fanta comes around. Ah, it doesn't seem to be too keen to get away missiles. Ah, there we go. Gets away the one missile. What's this set for? Yeah, just the one missile per target. Some of these were set up for one missile per target. Ooh, collision between missiles there. It looks like the uh, the Mark Eights are set up to deliver a few more. One of the interesting things of all the craft I've received is that's some debris. That's some debris. I'll come back to what I was saying in a second. Yes, one of the. Uh, Panther 2 Mark 8s have been taken out. Looks like a missile kill and, um, yeah, the sound bug strikes again. Ion Kerman trying to get a quick revenge kill and it looks like it has worked. One of the Fantas is out of here. That's, again, that's more damage. That's one of the, uh, that's, yeah, one of the... The Fantas, they're down to just the one craft. Can Ghosty Kerman get a quick kill to level it up at one apiece? No, he can't. Yeah, I was about to say something about the engines, but I, uh... I think that might have to wait till the final. So, six fights later and the Fanta is still in the competition because, of course, it is. Um... <laughs> yeah, this... What, what is effectively a meme craft by Vulcan is doing really well and, of course, that will be going up against the uh, the Panther II Mark VIII uh, by Ben Aaron. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Here we go then. Um, now, 
As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by some awesome destruction, it's been interesting to see the engine choices on these craft. Uh, some people have gone uh, just faithfully for the Panther engines that I put on my Panthers, um, and yes, that was a complete coincidence in the naming. Maybe there was something at the back of my head, but um, yeah, that first volume of missiles goes flying past. Um, the Panther 2 Mark 8's opting for the, uh, the Saturn engines. Yeah, I think there are, there are maybe some lessons to take away from this final. The guns start going from Ion Kerman. If you are trying to recreate one of my uh, one of my vessels, you know, try and get as far away from the actual original as possible. And if you can make the engines look like a fruity soft drink, then you know all the better. Ion Kerman trying to lay guns into one of the into one of the Fantas manages to do so, and the Fanta just crashes into the ground. He's not done yet, he's after another one. Luna Kerman, Luna Kerman falls to those guns. And so does Ghosty Kerman. So does Ghosty Kerman. And that was, that was just incredible. So maybe more emphasis on the unfaithful reconstruction and uh, less emphasis on the uh, the fruity soft drink thing. Some brutal, brutal efficiency there in that final, and uh, my congratulations to Ben Aaron and to his Panther 2 Mark 8, which triumphed in one hell of a fight. Um, my thanks to everyone who sent in a craft to Ben, of course, to Big Boy, to Space Doge, to Vulcan, to Dion No, to Soup, to Luna, uh, to Titan RT. We haven't seen your craft. I'm holding that back for something in the very near future, something kind of related. Um, but my special thanks to Action, who uh, sort of acted as the ringleader for this and um, came up with sort of a rule set and uh, got everyone on the the, uh, the craft showcase section sort of uh, pulling in the same direction. So yes, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord. Great chaos be a BD Armoury community there. Um, uh, there's also some PayPal and Patreon links all in the description if you want to help support the channel. I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury, but uh, for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.